So I thought I'd do a video with this title, things that I've struggled with since manifesting my specific person, because I've been really honest with you on this channel about my experience. A lot of you know it has not been and has never been sunshine and roses and manifesting in itself was not some kind of walk in the park for me. It was hard and then all of my stuff, all of my stuff came up in our relationship. And actually, I want to share with you some of the things that I think are a bit of a hazard when manifesting a specific person that I hope that you can avoid because there were things that really made my relationship a lot harder. And it all comes down to how you're feeling about yourself. So we're gonna dive into that in a minute. Before I get into this video, I wanna let you know that there are a few spaces left on my Conscious Creators Masters Academy, my favorite program, the best thing that I've created since creating this channel. It is a very powerful program for anybody who wants to dive into themselves, into their narratives, into the things that are holding them back, really shine a light on what is stopping you from creating the relationships, the relationship dynamics, the abundance that you want in any area really. So if you like any information about that, please let me know. I'm doing free one-to-one -one discovery calls for anybody who is interested where you can tell me about you, we can talk about the program, you can ask me any questions and really that's a chance for me to get to know you and you to get to know me and the program and how it can help you. So if you would like to do that, just let me know. Okay, so things that I've struggled with since manifesting my specific person. I would say the first thing that happened that I didn't realize was hard, but actually was very hard, was that I didn't know how to give up manifesting. So on some level, when I was manifesting my specific person, I thought I had to. Otherwise, he would never choose to be with me and it was all on me. And really, all that was, was very, very low self-esteem and very low self-worth. I didn't think much of myself. And I thought, if I don't do something, he will never come after me. He'll never chase me. I might lose him forever. I've got to do something. And when we got together, okay, so some of the manifestation techniques that I did, they blew my mind because things like visualization and inner conversations and all of this kind of stuff. I mean, I was literally seeing things that I'd manifested happening over and over and over again. But that made me think that it was all on me and that I couldn't stop manifesting. Otherwise, our relationship would just go down the drain. And so it, it kept me in a state of stress. It kept me in a state of, oh my God, I've got to watch my thoughts. I've got to um, think positively. I can't be anxious. Otherwise, that's going to manifest whatever I'm fearing or worrying about. And it just meant that I was very hyper vigilant to my own mind all the time. And to be fair, like, when you're changing your neural pathways and you're changing your inner experience, there is hypervigilance because otherwise you just go on autopilot thinking and believing the things that you did whenever, you know, you were going around in circles. So there is a bit of hypervigilance that's kind of involved whenever you're becoming more conscious and aware of your patterns and stuff. So that's, you know, partly normal. But I think what I found really difficult was that I couldn't let go and I couldn't believe that actually he just wanted to be with me. You know, it was his choice too. It wasn't me making it happen the whole time. Everything was not all on me. And I just found it really hard to stop manifesting. And I think this is one of the hazards and one of the things that you can remedy by really sitting with the idea that you're good enough now and that actually there's nothing you need to do to prove your worth, especially to this person. You don't need to prove that you're good enough. You don't need to do some magic trick to make them want you, love you, come after you. Okay, it is, it is being able to sit with I'm enough and I've done enough and I can put this down. At least playing with that while your nervous system gets used to it. And that was the thing that I just, I just found so hard. And the result of that was that I became extremely anxious I became really anxious about our relationship and it became the center of my world. And so I went into codependency. See, I was an example really of someone who manifested a relationship from quite a unhealed, unhealthy place. 
And obviously, we're still together. So there's a lot of stuff that we've stayed together and worked through. But it has been so hard. And so, you know, um, at the beginning, uh, like many of you know, I was very, very focused on the relationship. And at first, it, it felt amazing. It felt like, wow, this is so cool. But one of the things that I had was an expectation under the surface, sitting under there, didn't realise it consciously, but I expected him to make me happy. And I expected him to fill that void within myself. And when he didn't, and when he did things that, um, you know, were not what I would have done or, you know, not how I felt, then I was really disappointed and I couldn't handle it because I'd given him a role to make me happy and to be the person that I expected him and needed him to be. And whenever he did something that was a human normal thing, you know, humans are different, people are different, everybody in relationships thinks and works differently, I couldn't accept, I couldn't accept it. So I was in resistance to it. And I thought, what's wrong with me? Why am I, why am I manifesting this? When really, I had to learn to lean into acceptance. I had to learn to lean into differences, being normal in a relationship. And actually what he was mirroring to me was me not accepting myself. He was mirroring to me that there was parts of me that I didn't feel comfortable with. Everything that annoyed me about him, and by the way, this still happens sometimes, everything that annoys me about him is an opportunity for me to see where I'm not accepting myself and where I'm not being honest with myself, where I'm not setting boundaries, right? So that at the beginning was really hard because I I was I became very controlling. Didn't realise that I was becoming very controlling, but that's what I did because I was scared. When you become controlling, it's because you're scared and you feel like you've got to make something outside of you perfect in order for you to feel safe. So these are the things that I did and these are really the sorts of things that we talk about quite a lot on the Conscious Creators Masters Academy, that perception shift of becoming the safety that you need and really breaking the tie and detaching from someone outside of you, making you happy. And having that role, when we give someone a role like that, we are inevitably going to be disappointed and pissed off at them, right? Because it's an unrealistic expectation. And this isn't to say that along the way, I haven't been amazingly surprised with beautiful things that have happened, um, ways that he surprised me in, in, in ways that I couldn't imagine before. That were so completely polar opposite to the way he was before when he was just so incredibly avoidant that he wouldn't even speak to me on the phone or ever actually you know it, it's a very different scenario now so there are things that are amazing but what I was met with was all the ways that I had not loved and accepted myself and that has literally so many symptoms like it has so many symptoms that show itself in a relationship through another person they just mirror to you where you're not loving yourself the other thing that I have struggled with so much and I found really, really hard was that because I'd focused so much on the relationship before we were in it, really thinking that was the remedy to my unhappiness, that when we were in it, all of the things that actually had been making me happy, like, you know, focusing on my music, being with my friends, knowing how, um, just prioritising my own needs and things, that kind of really went out of the window so that I could focus on him. And I did all the classic mistakes, codependent mistakes, to try and be the perfect girlfriend, try and make him happy so that I would feel good about myself. It was all control. Um, and getting myself out of that was like being sucked by a hoover and trying to get out, right? It was, it, it was so, it's been so, so, so hard. So prioritizing my needs and my passions and my interests and my own sense of self has been the biggest, most important lesson. And it's been hard to learn. So yeah, these are the things that um, really have been the hardest. And I hope that I can tell you about them so that you can prioritise them now, so that you don't have to go through what I went through. I feel like because of everything that I've been through, and you know, it's very hard to express to you sometimes how really hard it's been. Um, because, you know, I'm sharing my lessons, I'm sharing the things that 
um, I've, I've learned from, which inevitably were hard. And what I'm grateful for is that it has made me very deeply understanding and very deeply um, empathetic towards people going through this. And that's why I think we have such great conversations on the Conscious Creators Masters Academy and uh, in my coaching. And I feel like it's it because of this experience, I've drawn people going through a similar thing and similarly have an expectation of a specific person and um, want to manifest a relationship, also deeply understand that. Um, but transforming it is a transforming yourself job, right? It's really a transforming it really viscerally the way that you feel about yourself because it is so visceral. It goes back way before you even had the language to explain how you're feeling to anybody. It's a nervous system shift, which takes such time, such time, it takes time and it takes consciousness and it takes, takes being held and that is really what we do in the Conscious Creators Masters Academy. And I love it because I, I see that it's helping people to become aware of um, where they've given away their power. Um, and I really had given away my power so much. I really, really had given away my power to Johnny. And, um, and it made me very unhappy. It made me very, very miserable. And um, it's taken me such a lot of time to be able to pull myself out of that and remember who I am again and actually know who I am more than ever before. And as a result of that, we have a more balanced relationship and um, things become clearer. The more that you get to know yourself, the more you love yourself, the more you spend time with yourself, the more you do the things that you love and create the things that you want to create, you know. So, yeah everything changes and th there are things that at the beginning of our relationship honestly I was so held on to our relationship it was like oh my god if we break up now that's the end of it I'll never get over it but now I'm like I trust myself and I trust life and I trust that you know if we break up or if something happens I will be fine and that is so different from me thinking and expecting that I had to make sure that I kept the relationship together otherwise I'd failed or something you know now I know that we're together because we're choosing to be together and if that ever changes for whatever reason whatever happens in life will be fine and we'll always be okay you know there's there's so many other lessons obviously through like having a baby together um and things that I've learned through that, that's a whole nother video. Um, and a whole nother video about relationships as well. Um, but there's just so, so much to talk about. And there's so much growth in these specific person relationships. Mostly, in fact, 99% of it is all about you, not about them. Uh, but they obviously do play a part. And actually, it's more it's less than that we, we it's all about us and understanding where the other person comes in because it's not it's not like your full responsibility to make the person the way they are you know it's not there's another person there and they've got their way of being but it is really so important about you being able to see your own needs you being able to see your own needs and validate them and accept them is going to actually help you accept the other person as they are. So yeah, there's so much more I could talk about, but I thought I'd do a quick video on this. Um, I've had a lot of help and a lot of support. I've needed therapy. I've needed group coaching. All of these things have helped me so much. And, you know, it's like going through a really deep, dark well and then coming out the other side of it slowly but surely finding myself again and it's really taken time we've been together three years now over three years and uh yeah wow it's been probably the hardest time <laughs> and also the most amazing it's both things both things can exist um but yeah certainly um not one of these people who's like i manifested my specific person and we've been so happy ever since that hasn't been my experience um, but I've stuck with it because I believe in 
um, the growth that this has offered me and I believe in our connection and I believe in love so that's that's why I've done it and sometimes I've honestly questioned why have I put myself through this it's been so hard but you know it was all meant to be and I believe that you know if I was ever ready to be like right I can't do this anymore I don't want to I would know I would know and I would I would know what to do it's about trusting yourself you know so yeah that's it i hope you found this video useful if you've got any questions about what i do or the conscious creators masters academy then let me know and i'll see you in the next video